Hello everyone. Today we will see how to install the Flux extension in VS Code. So first we will open VS Code Editor and click on Extensions. And then in the Extension Mark we will search for the Flux extension. So the first you can see that one. So it will be provided by Inflex Data. Just click Install. So once the installation has been completed, so you can see the Flux Inflex DB tab over here. So just click add a new connection over here. So I'm trying to do a new connection from my local host. So I just open local host over here. Local host 086. It's going to uh, The reason why we are logging over here is like we have to pass this token. So first we will uh, provide the post so you can provide it as local post itself you can have the name as local and for the token so you copy the token which has been available in InfluxDB and for the organization name so you can see the organization name over here so if you are having multiple organization you can switch or you can create organization so here I am having at least as an organization so that so I'm just doing a test connection so now you can see the connection has been successful I'm just saving that one so once it is saved you can see the influx db the stuff buckets being available in the local host so here we have the system metric and all the metrics uh, you can see it over here so now uh, to write the query we open a new tab so here you can have the flux language so once you are selected, you can write your query. So, so if you are new to the one, maybe just go to the Explore tab over here. Just select the query. You can just have a reference of this uh, video over here. So, all the so, So we'll write the flex query and if you have uh, so for timing, I'm just copying it from here and I'm just doing some visit here on uh, the editor, I'm just changing the time range. And once you have written your query, you can execute it using the command control alt and e. So which you can see it over here like there is some uh, an error being showing like unidentifier V. So we'll change this window period to one half. And again, press the command control Alt E so that you can see the output in your visual code editor itself. So if you'd like to refresh the page, so all you can do is just open the command palette and you can see the commands like the index add connection. Or if you want to reverse the DB, you can do that one. As well as if you want to run the query, you can use the command control mode. So and that's it with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So you can try many things with the Flux query with the Visual Code Editor. So that's it with this video. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.